Hello, my name is Dr. Neil Baum. I'm a urologist in New Orleans, Louisiana, and I would like to take a few moments to talk with you about a new test to diagnose prostate cancer called the PCA3 test. In this brief video, I will describe the test, I'll tell you how the test is done, and finally, I will discuss with you how to interpret the results. A few comments about prostate cancer. Prostate cancer is one of the most frequently diagnosed cancers in men. Few prostate cancers are very aggressive, and if diagnosed early, they can be treated. I want to point out that early prostate cancer has no symptoms. But tests are available to diagnose prostate cancer before they become symptomatic. So what tests are currently available to diagnose prostate cancer? There's the digital rectal exam and a blood test, the PSA or prostate specific antigen test, which measures a protein that is produced by the prostate cells. Normally, uh, the PSA can rise with an enlarged prostate that is benign. It can also uh, increase with infections of the prostate gland, and also it can increase with prostate cancer. I thus point out that the PSA is a nonspecific test for diagnosing prostate cancer. If a man has an abnormal PSA or an abnormal digital rectal exam, man often has a transrectal ultrasound and a prostate biopsy where a small amount of tissue is removed and then submitted to a pathologist who looks at the tissue underneath the microscope and is able to make the diagnosis. So what is the PCA3 test? It's a new test to aid in the diagnosis of prostate cancer. The test consists of a urine sample followed by a digital rectal examination for determination of the PCA3 score. The PCA3 is specific for prostate cancer. It is not affected by benign enlargement of the prostate gland or prostate infections. The PCA3 test may give additional information about the aggressiveness of the cancer. So when is the PCA3 test indicated? It's indicated for the man who has a negative prostate biopsy, but there is a suspicion of prostate cancer. It's also indicated for a man who has a family history of prostate cancer. Or if the patient has a positive biopsy and wants to know how aggressive the prostate cancer is, the PCA3 will help with that determination. If a man has early, non-aggressive prostate cancer and wishes to have his prostate cancer monitored by watchful waiting, and he would want to know if the prostate cancer is progressing, the PCA3 test can be very helpful in that situation. So how is the PCA3 test performed? A urine sample is collected after the doctor performs a digital rectal exam. The, sam the sam urine sample is then analyzed by a highly specialized laboratory and the results are usually available within one to two weeks after the urine is submitted to the laboratory. So let's talk about how to understand the results. The PCA3 indicates the probability of finding prostate cancer in a biopsy. The higher the PCA score, the more likely the biopsy will be positive. A PSA 
3 test, a PCA3 test greater than 45 is likely to indicate prostate cancer. A PCA3 test less than 30 is more likely that the biopsy will be negative. So how can the PCA3 test be used in the treatment of prostate cancer? The PCA3 test indicates the aggressiveness of the cancer. The higher the PCA3 score, the higher the probability that the cancer is aggressive and the treatment should be instituted reasonably promptly. On the other hand, a non-aggressive prostate cancer and a man who wishes to use watchful waiting, he can use the PCA3 test to be done every three to six months. And if the PCA3 test is low or less than 30, then watchful waiting might be in order. However, if the PCA3 test is increasing, that may be an indication that the uh, prostate cancer is growing and treatment should be instituted because of the progression of the disease. So in summary, PCA, prostate cancer is a common condition and affects many American men. The diagnosis is made for prostate cancer by a digital rectal exam, a PSA test, and now the new test, the PCA3 test, which is more specific than the digital rectal exam or the older PSA test. Bottom line is the PCA3 test can help with the diagnosis and with monitoring patients with prostate cancer. I hope you have found this information useful. If you need additional information about the PCA3 test, I recommend you go to www.pca3.org or you can contact me at my office at 504-891-8454 or you can go to my website www.neilbaum.com. Thank you.